Hello, welcome to another Avenue Exit video looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. On the third, unexpectedly, a very old drama came back as a revamped high definition version. Well, as high as technology would allow. That is the very classic, one of my favorite dramas of all time, Mars. Zhanshen. This is a 2004 drama. It's archaic. Now this drama is on Youku and they've used technology to make it as you know clean and as sharp as they could possibly do. So it is really currently the highest definition version online. I've dragged through the entire 20 episodes timeline. It actually contains sort of 95% of the original drama. Obviously it cannot compare to current 1080p or 4k quality because it was filmed that long ago and the voice recording quality is as bad as it used to be. I am so happy. <laughs> I am so happy because I love this drama so much, so much. I think I actually made a video talking about Mars a long time ago but somehow I couldn't find it anymore. My channel has hundreds of videos and I don't go back to look at all of them. <laughs> so if time allows, I should find it opportunity to talk about this drama again. Because I often say I don't have favorites of dramas, but probably this one is an exception within the idol drama land and even pushing it out further because it's not just an idol drama. It is one of my most treasured drama ever. Anyway, very happy that now there is a rather high definition version that we can see. Then a drama went live on Thursday the 4th. It told you they're gonna go live two days before it aired and they've changed the title. So previously in Chinese, it's called a different name. It's the Go Go Squid 2. So the English title can still stay the same, Go Go Squid 2, which is DT, Apple Dog's Time. Yeah, it's such a long name. But in Chinese, they've changed the title to 我的时代,你的时代, it literally means your time and my time or your era and my era, which is okay, fine, <laughs> whatever. The drama is led by Hui Tian and Li Yitong, where the leads of this drama are the sort of peripheral character of the first drama, and the two male leads of the two dramas are cousins, Han Shangyan and Wu Bai. The first dump of the drama is eight episodes already. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> and to my surprise, I've actually run through all eight episodes. Record speed for me. I'll still give it a little bit more time to see if I should make a video about it. But now you know, this drama is out, suddenly. And talking about suddenly, okay, Okay, there couldn't be a more suddenly drama than the drama that I'm gonna talk about now, which is it went live yesterday and it told you it's gonna go live on the day that it went live. So in the morning it says, we're going live. Midday, it's live. <laughs> 斗罗大陆, 斗罗 continent, led by Xiao Zhan and Wu Xuanyi and kind of should have come out like exactly a year ago, but because of uh, what, what happened, okay, we all know it, Chinese entertainment, crazy year. It's out on Tencent. It's out on CCTV 8, which is uh, a channel of CCTV that's dedicated to television series. And I know if you've been following the news, you already know, okay? Don't need me to tell you the drama is live. So if you're interested in it, I have the full confidence in the researchability of my audience that you can find this drama if you want to. Then dramas that have released new materials. First, it's a drama that may come out soon. They haven't said when, but they finally released the trailer. Rong Yao Ping Pang, Ping Pong. So as you can tell, table tennis themed drama. And for the fans of the lead actors, you probably know this for a long time. It's kind of like floating for years now. <laughs> Finally, we are seeing the hope that this drama may come out soon. The drama is led by Bai Jingting, Xu Weizhou, a youthful, energetic sports drama that's focused on ping pong. Then a quick piece of news about two dramas that were web dramas now will go on CCTV 8 satellite in China Central television. Dates unknown, but it has been said that they're gonna go on satellite television. Ultimate note, Zhong Ji Bi Ji that I've just made a video about. And Qi Hun, Hikaru no Go, yes! I'm so happy because in the past year, there have been quite a few really high quality web dramas that after it has aired on web, satellite televisions decided to pick them up, including Winter Begonia. And this time, again, two dramas that I've really loved and they kind of don't fit the normal satellite television series criteria of CCTV. Now they're both going on. Again, it proves high quality production, passionate production, production actually cares about its story. Everybody can see it. People are not blind. Nobody is stupid. When it's good, we all know it's good. Then a drama has wrapped shooting on set. Wu Lin Yu Jiao Qi. English translation is even cuter. It says Wu Lin has squimish. Okay, kind of correct. <laughs> and the drama is led by Li Hongyi, 
Huang Ying. It is another costume period drama. Definitely will come with a lot of comedy because it's a story about a Jinsen that has turned into a human girl. And I really like the female lead. She was the lead of To Get Her. She is also in Ancient Detective. I can definitely do another drama, period drama, with her cute face. Then there's another drama that has officially announced. It has started the production, okay? And finally, it's an actor that a lot of people have been waiting for, for him to become a lead, because he always plays supporting role. Now he's a lead. This drama is called Ye Se An Yong Shi, English title Love at Night. <laughs> love okay and it's a contemporary romantic drama big city big metropolis is people doing their white collar job and love story that type of thing and the leads are Zhang Yuxi and Liu Xueyi so if you are a Liu Li fan or love and redemption fan you know him girl looking guy has been working in the industry for a long time always playing the supporting role you know everybody's like when are you ever gonna get a leading role well it's here and the posters the style and the look looks really nice hope this drama does well although contemporary romantic drama often is a very big land minefield in chinese drama land then another drama has started shooting and i think a lot of people would be very interested in it it's called meng hua lu and it's led by Liu Yi Fei. This is a period drama that's based on a very famous literature piece that was written hundreds of years ago in Yuan Dynasty by the very famous Guan Hanqin playwright. And it's based on the story Zhao Pan Er Feng Yue Jiu Feng Chen. In its essence, it's about courtesan sisters helping each other. One of them got married to a guy who abuses her so the other girl came to her rescue. That's like the story. If you double a little bit deep into Chinese literature, you would know this piece. And it actually has been adapted to screen previously. So Liu Yifei as the lead will definitely be playing the heroic courtesan. The sad thing about Liu Yifei in television series is she hasn't been in the television series for years, years now. And the one that she's led with Jing Boran because of this and that reason has been again shelved for so long. Whatever, there has been so much rumor about when this drama is gonna come out or if it's ever gonna come out. The Nan Yan Jai Lu drama. Now a new drama has been made. <laughs> I mean, it's Chinese drama land. It's very conceivable if this project goes well, it may just come out before the older drama. Anyway, I hope it goes well for its production. Sorry about the heater. Um, currently, it's minus 30. I can't turn it off. Then another thing started shooting during this week. It's a film. And this film is based on an IP novel that is already being made into a television series right now. Shi Nian Yi Ping Wen Ru Yan is now being made into a TV series and the film at the same time, obviously by different people. The drama version I've talked about, I think, quite a few weeks ago. Now the film version is led by Ding Yuxi and Ren Ming. Just by hearing these two names, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Because both of them, I think, with good directing, can be very good actors. And somehow I feel this film cast for this IP would be a more trustworthy and safer cast. Current English name is 10 Years of Loving You, but we shall see if at the end of it, <laughs> they're still gonna keep this name. Then there's a drama that's been confirmed will start shooting very soon, and it will become another drama of ITE's Light On series, the series that has done so well last year, producing some of the best Chinese dramas of 2020. Now this project is on its way, and very interestingly, it also features one actor from previous Light On, <sighs> Liao Fan. Currently, the name is called Tao Jing Goat Panning. It literally is about goat panning. And the leads will be Liao Fan and Chen Fei Yu. I'm guessing this story will contain thriller, adventure, that type of element in it. Probably mystery too. And I hope Ai does a good script because they've kind of already earned a really good reputation for the entire Light On thing. Now, it really has become a brand within their domain. Hopefully, they do well with this drama. Then, the final piece of news is to do with a film that now has been filed and will go into production, Wandering Earth. It is the sequel to the best Chinese sci-fi film to date. I can see the logic of cashing in on the fame of the first film and the huge sort of epic view of universe and human life. The only thing is the original material that the first film is based on is a short story and it only goes that far. So the second film probably will all be new created stories. Whether it can match the quality and also the refresh surprise that the first film delivered, only time can tell.
So that will conclude this video. Next week is Chinese New Year. If you have time, come and join my live stream on the 11th. It should be in the morning of the uh, North America time in general. I will definitely announce it before it happens. We will be playing games in this live stream and then there will be gifts for people. If you want, please come. I'll try to make it as happy, as fun as possible. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.